Hi, my name is Leah Battle, and you're at Territorios Aguates, or Land of the Strays. <laughs> we have over a thousand dogs. We pick up the ones that are in really bad shape. Some have been badly, badly tortured, but most have just been abandoned, which to me is already um, torture. But a lot of them come from people who've picked them up and don't know what to do with them. They're left behind. To me, that dog still deserves to have a home at least, a roof over him, food in his belly, and at least people who call him a name, who pet him on his head, no matter how grungy or mangy he might be. They all have names. This is Franco. Franco, you idiot. You're a big idiot. Franco's nar narcoleptic. We have a bunch of characters here. We have Juana over here. That one coming up there is Jake. This is Macho. This is Rufus, also known as Macho. He has two names. This is Panty. I didn't call him Panty. I don't know who put that name on, but that's the one that stuck. So this is Panty. We have Bella, who loves water. Julieta, venga. Tontilla, tontilla. They love hanging out in their little holes. They dig holes all over the place, and then they just crash in them. You might step on dogs if you're not careful, because they're always, <laughs> they're always lazing around. They eat 13 sacks a day of 30 kilo food. And that's over $600 a day just on food. And they need medication and they need to be taken down to the, to the vets all the time. The fact that we're still here and the fact that we're still being able to change the lives of so many dogs is also part of, I think, of a collective effort. There's eight springs here. We have lots of water on this land which is something many other people would like, particularly our neighbors on that end. They've always wanted this farm. Every time we overcome one of their hurdles, they come back with something else. But lately, it's gotten worse. At some point, somebody who has to know the area came in through the gate and probably standing here, shot poisoned pieces of meat over their enclosure and they find 11 dogs were already dead and one was still alive but we rescued him and of course they said yes it's poison now if they're trying to scare us out of here they're not going to be able to do it I, they just won't i don't scare easily our dogs are super happy here but i'd be much happier if every dog really had a home the laws in costa rica are not the best we're just trying to get animal welfare laws installed and, and it's not working very well. But there's a lot of education that's missing. Euthanizing a dog is not a solution for overpopulation. That's how we end up with thousands of dogs here. At least we've been able to change the, the lives of a lot of dogs. Sometimes we pick them up and it's too late and they have a few weeks here and then they pass away but at least they passed away with a name. As long as there's a need for a place where dogs don't feel like they're being persecuted, then we'll be here. <laughs>